Welcome back Stampers and this is um, Rebecca at Rebecca Creates and this is my blog create yourself stampin.stampinhub.net and that is my blog if you do not have a demonstrator and need a catalog please email me contact me through my blog and I will send you out the new catalog. Also I will be raffling out if you order $25 or more I enter your name into a raffle, which I will announce on the 29th of August. And this is, and you can enter as many times as you like. It gives you more chances to win. And this is a stamp set that I'll be raffling. And it's called um, Something for Baby. And you can use it to do like the goodie bag that I did on one of my videos. You can do it to make other different goodie bags, cards, favors, whatnot. And on the back side, inside the bag, are the diamond right so there's like a glare in here um, let's see I could fix that because the glare is also bothering me let's see nope that's not helping okay well anyhow it has rhinestones a two-way glue and a bone folder And I've seen this tutorial um, with like a little step-by-step -step, um, tutorial and it was cute. I thought it was so adorable, but there was not like a video tutorial. And this is what I made. And it's really cute and I believe the girl's name was Linda. So thank you, Linda. And I'm going to show you how to do it the way you would do it on a video tutorial. Okay, so... I use my punch board. Okay, let's see if you can see it. This way. I'll go this way. Okay. And I cut any designer paper. You can use solid paper, designer paper, whatnot. So I use my scraps and I cut it. Um, I believe it was one, one inch this way and seven inches long way. So I'm going to slide it in here, and at one and a half, I got to turn it back this way so I can see. At one and a half, I'm going to punch it, and then three and a half, I'm going to punch it again. I'm going to turn it over okay, this way. To the back side, one and a half, pinch it, three and a half, oops, pinch it again. I'm going to turn it over and do it at one and a half. Hopefully, I don't make no boo boos. Okay, at one and a half again. Then the ends, you know, the shorter ends, I'm going to try evenly to stick it in here and punch down so it makes like a little, that one was a little bit crooked, so that's like a boo boo. Kind of hard to see it at this angle. So then I'm going to do this other end and punch it down. That one came out better. Okay, then I'm going to get, um, my bone folder and move this aside and I'm going to curl up the bow part which is right here then I'm going to get some two-sided strip paper too much. I only need a really little bit. And stick it. So you can see me right here. Down the middle. Then I'm gonna peel the backing. Rub it down. Peel off the backing part. Oh don't come out. Go. Then I'm going to 
kind of um, bow. See this part here? Fold it into the middle part of the bow. Fold it down a little bit. Screw it down. Do the same thing to the other side so it meets up with this right here. And hook it down. And there you go. And there is your bow. Isn't that so adorable? And you can use any. <laughs> I thought that was just so cute and so smart. Thank you very much, Linda. I really appreciate me being able to do this. Um, and for you sharing your talent. Thank you so much for joining me. And that's just a really quick tutorial. Thank you.